Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. So in this video we'll be talking about how we can make patterns in Python. So if you're a college student then you must have already gotten some assignments in which you have to make patterns using some programming language like C or even Python. And I also think it is a really good way of developing problem solving skills. So in this video we'll be talking about three basic patterns that we can make using Python. And one of them is this one that you can see in the console. It is a really simple one. Then we have two other ones that we'll be talking about in this video only. So let's get started with it. So you must be seeing a desired output on your screen right now. So to print this output we can simply start by printing just one star. So if you'll print one star this is our output and now let's print it four times so that we can make four columns four four rows sorry one two three four and when you will print it you can see one row two row three row four rows have been printed but we have already learned about the concept of loops so instead of printing it four times we can just put it in one range we can just put it in a for loop of range four so let's see how it works so let's for i in range uh, let's say 4 because the indexing will start at 4 and stop at 3 print star and now when we'll, when we'll execute this program we have 4 rows but I think to get this desired output it would be easier for us to make first 4 columns instead of 4 rows as you can see we have made 4 rows 1 2 3 4 but if we make 4 columns first 1 2 3 4 in one row then it would be easier for us to get this desired output as we can just paste the code for printing four columns four times to get the desired output. So let's see what we have to do now. So all we want is to get them get all these stars in the same line. And in one of the previous videos we have already learned about how we can get them on the same line using end is equals to and space. And now when we'll print it they all are on the same line. And if we don't give a space in this end then there will be no space in between but we want a space in between. So the, here it is. So now we have four columns, one column, two column, three column, four columns and one row. And now we can simply paste this code four times and get the desired output. One time, uh, two times, three times and four times. And when I'll print it, now the problem is we are getting everything on the same line. But after every column is being printed, we want it to be on the next line. So what we can simply do is we can just print one empty space, print one empty string after each one of them. So print and same for it, print and when I'll do so and when I'll execute the program, this is a desired output. But now again, as you can see, we are repeating a block of code four times. So instead of repeating, what we should prefer is we should just put it inside another loop. So just copy this one time and just cut it and put it inside another loop. So let's say let's give another variable name for j in range. We want it to be printed four times. So range in four and just print that paste that code here. So now we have this code which which we used to make one four columns and one row and we have to execute it four times using this loop. And now when we'll print it, we got a desired output. So this is how you should approach any problem in Python or any other, any other programming language and also while making any pattern that you should just approach it step by step. So instead of making a program straight away, as you can see, we had four two loops inside it. But instead of making loops first, I just approached it step by step that how without loop I should have executed it, but how loop could have made it easier for me. And this is the final output in four lines. We made this pattern. Now let's make the second pattern. Now the desired output on your screen must have changed and now we have to make this pattern. So before approaching this second pattern, one thing is clear that this i variable is used for making columns and this j is used for rows because we use this pro code to make four columns first. So yeah, this one is used for columns so we can just give it the name call and this variable is made for rows. Now first of all, let's just try to understand what is happening in this pattern. As you can see, for the first row, 
there is one column for the second row there are two columns for the third row there are three columns and for the fourth row there are four columns so the num the number of columns are equal to the number of row it is so for the first row there are first column second there are two columns so it is really simple that now our columns depend on rows so for range this time we don't need four we need rows and let's see what happens here so the range of our column is now depending on rows so now when we will execute this program now this is not the desired output but it is something like that only now the only problem here is that for the 0th row so when the value of row is 0 the column is printing till range 0 and when the range is 0 the output is, output is nothing there is no output for that so to eliminate this problem we can simply change it to row plus 1 and when we will print it we got the desired output it is really simple so when the number of row is 0 so the range for column will be 1 so only 1 star will be printed then the second number of row for the second row the range will be 2 and it will be printed 2 times 0th index and 1st index then 0th index 1st index and 2nd index then 0th index 1st 2nd and 3rd index so this is how this program works there might be still a bit confusion in your mind then you can just rewind the video and watch this again listen to this video again and there the confusion might go away now let's come to the third pattern now let's just first of all try to understand what's happening in this pattern in this pattern as you can see for the first row there is oh, there is four columns for the second one there are three columns for the third row there are two columns and for the fourth row there is only one column so for the output of the first row is similar to that of the first pattern as you can see we got the first pattern like this and the output for the first row is similar but now with each row the number of stars in column is get, the number of columns are getting reduced and the factor it is depending upon it is on the number of row so if the number of row is 2 then there are only 3 columns if the number of row is 3 then there are only 2 columns and if the number of column is 4 then there is only 1 column and now that we know that the factor that which on this pattern depends upon is the number of rows now we can simply change the range from 4 to 4 minus row and let's see what happens now and now when i'll print it this is the desired output and now let's see how it's working so for the first time we wanted the range to be 4 only because this was the desired output we wanted for the first row for the first time row was equal to 0 so 4 minus 0 was 0 now the second time when the loop ran the row was equal to 1 and 4 minus row that is 4 minus 1 was equal to 3 and there were 3 columns now the third time when the loop loop ran the row was equal to 2 and now 4 minus 2 was equal to 2 and number of columns were 2 and the last time when the loop ran row was equal to 3 and now 4 minus 3 was equal to 1 and there was only one column so this is how we approach any problem in any programming language we just approach them step by step otherwise it just gets harder to solve any problem so first of all the first approach should be we have to know what we have to get so what we did was first of all we ha had a look at our output and we first of all started thinking that what's happening there after it we did a step by step approach and then we made a program very efficient by using loops so this is how we solve problem in python solve any problem in any programming language we just approach it step by step piece by piece line by line so i hope you like this video if you have any doubt write in the comment section if you like this video then please leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one